Hey fifth graders, so today we are going to talk about factors and multiples. So a mul to find a multiple, we kind of like the name says, we need to multiply. So when we are looking for multiples, we take our starting number, in this case 16, and multiply it by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. So if we multiply 16 times 1, we get 16. 16 times 2, we get 32. 16 times 3, we get 48. 16 times 4, get 64 and 16 times 5 we get 80 and we could go on and on because there are a multitude of multiples meaning there are infinitely many multiples right we can go on forever and ever and ever but if we are talking about factors or the factors of a number, we need to divide. So when we're talking about factors, we're talking about two numbers that we could multiply together to make our starting number, which would be 16. But we can find it by dividing that number by a factor. So if we start with the factor 1, you know, every number has, the, has a factor of 1. 16 divided by 1 is 16. Since 16 is an even number, we know that it can be divided by 2. And 16 divided by 2 is 8. So 2 and 8 are also factors. We can't divide 16 evenly by 3, but we can divide 16 evenly by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 4. So 4 and 4 are also factors of 16. Now keep in mind that numbers will only count as a factor or a multiple when we are multiplying or dividing by integers or by whole numbers, meaning we can't multiply or divide by a fraction or by a decimal. Another thing to note with factors is that there are a fixed number of factors, meaning there is a limited number of factors for every number, right? It's not infinite like it is with multiples. One other thing to remember about factors is that factors we can think of as like two peas in a pod, meaning for every factor there is two numbers. It has a partner. Let me try to make this a little bit easier to see. Now. So every factor has a partner. They come in pairs of two. Right? Factors always come in pairs. Now let's take a look at a couple of examples. So list all the factors and the first four multiples of 72. So let's start with the factors of 72. So we know we have one. Oops, let me get rid of this. We know we have one and 72. Since 72 is even, We know it has a factor that's 2, 
So 2 divided into 72 divided by 2 is 36. We also have 3 and 24. Four and eighteen. We know that seventy-two can't have a multiple or can't have a factor of five because it doesn't end in a five or a zero. We also have six and twelve. Eight and nine. So these are all the factors of 72. And then if we list out the first four multiples of 72, so that means that we'll multiply 72 times 1 and have 72, 72 times 2, which is 140, 144, 72 times 3, which is 216, and 72 times 4, which is 288. So one way that I have found that uh, helps me to list out factors is with a t-chart. So that would look kind of like this. So I have my t-chart, and then on one side, I'll list one factor, and on the other side, I'll list its partner. So if we have list the factors of 45, I know we have 1 and 45. It's not even, so we can't have 2. We have 3 and 15. It's not even, so we can't have 4. But it does end in a 5, so we can have a factor of 5. So 5 and 9. And those are all the factors of 45. My t-chart kind of keeps them nice and organized. And then list the five multiple or first five multiples of eight. So again, we start with eight times one, and then eight times two is 16. Eight times three is 24. Eight times four is 32 and 8 times 5 is 40. So that is factors and multiples. Remember that finding a factor, there are always two peas in a pod, they always come in pairs, and multiples you're multiplying your starting number by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Also with factors, remember that you can use that t-chart method and list your factors in pairs to find all of your factors. And so that is factors and multiples.